So I'm just curious to know what this place is about, this, uh, this sports centre. It's fairly new to Dundee, it's, well, two or three year old maybe. Um, I've never actually been in it yet, but I just want to have a wee look in the complex. just want to find out a bit more about it. So, it's on uh, Dundee's Caird Park, which is just off the A90. You've got the Kingsway that runs along the top there. And I'll come down via the fourth of those. So it sort of sits between Kirton Housing Scheme, uh, Linlathen, uh, and you've got Fintrade down there. So it's sort of like on the Easter side of Dundee, the Dundee's Caird Park, where this is. Caird Park also has uh, Mains Castle as well. Uh, it's got a big uh, golf course further back there. Um, there's like ponds as well. There's various things here at Caird Park, but this uh, RPC is one of the later things. It's maybe, I don't know, two, two, three year old or something. It's not that long anyway. So I'm going to go a bit closer and learn a bit more and get some videos and photos for these as well, if you're wondering what it is. Some sort of running ground down there, like a gravel pitch. Or, uh, circuit rather, gravel circuit. Many years ago when I was at Minnesota High School, uh, I was quite a lot fitter back then. I'd done rugby and I'd done training here, cross country here at the Caird Park, long before this was built. But uh, there was rugby, we played rugby with the other neighbouring school at Lynn uh, It was the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Um, and, uh, done the cross country in that year, I won a few actually, I got some medals in that. Miss say days I'll tell you, it's a lot of fitter back then. But uh, oh, it was well before this place was built. There was, the, there was like playing uh, fields, running circuits and all that kind of thing. Um, but there wasn't anything like this big sports complex. So I'm going to be able to find out more about it though. I was actually going to go down there but I'll maybe do that on another day because it's just going to be too dark to see anything. So I'm going to go up to the main complex building up here. So the actual abbreviation stands for the Regional Performance Centre for Sport. <laughs> so, so I'm in the main car park at the moment. This is the main hub building. Um, as I say, further down there was a, like playing fields and there was a running circuit as well. Um, it looks like there's uh, football pitches and stuff in that up there. So I'll turn around, I'll get a wee uh, video footage for you and just give you an idea of what this place is, what it's about, what it's like. Because I'm curious as well. It's obviously a sports centre, but I want to see you learn a bit more about it. You might even try it sometime, you know. Um, you might even get to know more about it and decide to come here. But uh, anyway, let's, let's have a wee, have a wee look around. Let's have a wee nosy. <laughs> So that's the main Kingsway up there, that's the A92. Um, it's quite easy to access this, uh, to access this place, it's right on the main trunk routes. Kirk Park's quite easy to get to. This would obviously be the main car park then. So, uh, there is probably an overspilled car park down there as well. I'm not quite sure what kind of performances they do if they hold um, athletics, you know, for the telly and stuff like that. I don't know, but I'm going to wait to find out more. So they obviously expect big crowds anyway. They've got dedicated uh, bus parking spaces as well as your electric vehicles and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Normal spaces, probably motorbikes and cycles, push bike. Yep, there is a push bike bit. So after all that are promoting sport and keeping fit so oh, I don't even know if I'm going to get into this building or what because I don't know if you need to be a member or, or what the story is I'm sure I could get into a choir about what's going on like you know if I want to become a member or what not I don't know 
this area at all. I don't know what, what the story is. Um, oops. I'll also go and have a look at these pictures up there for you before I go into the main reception bit. This is keeping fit, just getting up here. <laughs> ah, so there's something on. I won't be filming anything like because there's things happening. So I'm just going to just briefly show you what it looks like. So that, that's what's. It's obviously in use at the moment, so I can't really film anything there. So this complex is made up by a few buildings. There's uh, one of these type buildings further down as well. This will be the, as I say, this will probably be the main headquarter, but the main hub. Uh, so they might have a gym that's open to the public, I don't know. I'm going to be a inquire. So I've obviously got to be careful what I'm filming around the sports centre for obvious reasons, you know. I wouldn't be allowed to just film anything I want in there. Uh, I'd have to ask first, but just, as I say, just showing you what it's like. And I'm going to let it go in here now. Um, this is the, the main door, I'll show you that. Royal, uh, Royal, what am I talking about Royal? It's, uh, oh God, I forgot what it is. Regional Performance Centre for Sports, right in the windows. And it's in Gaelic as well, but it looks it. I've had a royal opening on it, but <laughs> so I had a wee look around. Uh, no, didn't see much. I wasn't able to look around the whole place. It isn't actually open for the public, it's mainly for sports training it's like for people to train to become athletes and stuff like that so it's a wee bit like you could look at it as being a bit like a university it's not like a a public gym you, you can't just sort of go in and go to the gym uh no you, you can't join it either it's unless you're training to become an athlete that's the uh the idea of this big complex uh see i didn't know that <clears throat> i wasn't sure just how it worked but now it's focusing on getting athletes to their peak performance to become professional athletes and stuff like that. Now, I thought that they might have done spectating bits, you know, the hell competitions and that here as well, perhaps, but they, they don't. They don't have any uh, spectator viewing areas because it isn't really a public building. It's uh, You've got to be like, um, well, it's just like being at a school, I suppose, but it's a university. You could look at it like that, you know, it's for training people to become professional athletes so it's kind of like a private thing unless you were want to become an athlete you would you know there's no really any other way around it but I, I had just a wee nosy around uh, it's, it's just like your usual you know a gym that's got a apparatus you know gym equipment and there's two big halls as well uh, big sports halls indoors you know basketball whatever it was that we're doing volleyball I don't know uh, but there was just two big Two, well, it's a great big hall, there's a big curtain within the centre of it and split it into two. Like, they could probably open it up to make it one big hall if they wanted. Um, but so there is, there yeah, is the playing fields as well up there for the outdoor activities like football and rugby. I think I've seen some of the stuff with rugby on the back, so they probably do all sorts of sports here. Um, so there's various buildings, that was the main hub, the main reception area, the main hub that I was in. All the other buildings in there will be used for when they're needed to be. They're not in use at the moment, but uh, they're not all at use at one time, but if they're going to hard train up some people... Oh, I didn't realise that was soft. Oh, that's like a uh, canvas. I can actually hear people in this one too. That one is being in use. Not all of it's being used at one time because it's, it just depends on when they're training up, you know? It's not open to the public, like I say. But that, that's just canvas. I didn't know that. It's just stuff. Soft canvas that is. So, um, in fact, I'll turn it around. Oh, it is being used because I could see that there's. Oh, it's like an indoor. Ah, oh, right, it's like an indoor football pitch. Uh, but it's being used, so I can't really show anything in there as private, you know what I mean? Um, so, as I say, that's just the outside bit, but I kind of. You can only get a peek in there. It is in use, but I can't show really what's going on because it's. Uh, no, I mean, it isn't open to the public. 
and it's a sports thing as well, so you've got to use a bit of common sense. You can't really film people. Unless it's for sports viewing, you know, changing rooms and all that, kind of just go wandering in, marching in with a camera, like, you know, screw the head on a bit when you're at sport arena, so you can't just do that for privacy's sake. You know what I mean? So, but you could see what I'm on about here, like, it's just canvas art, I thought that was a solid wall, but it isn't, it's just, it's just soft canvas. Uh, so it'll be quite, it's massive, like, but you, I showed you a wee peek, there's another one of these buildings down there that actually is in use, well they're setting the lights on on it, so... And, as I said earlier, there's like a running circuit around there as well. Um, and the, the roof that'll be for uh, lighting purposes, it'll be translucent, not transparent. Tra glass is transparent, but the roof isn't a glass transparent roof, it's translucent, so it allows lighting but you can't see, like, clearly through it. Obviously the walls are opaque, so you can't see nothing. So but they've used the translucent light for probably energy purposes, to make it easier to light, I'm guessing. Because uh, it's for energy, isn't it? So they want to save energy, so they'll use a translucent roof. That's why, it, during the day, it will maybe even retain some heat during the day as well, from the sun, and it's got air conditioning as well, I'll have it, I'm sure I'll have it. I did see the vents actually just uh, as I was walking past there, so it'll all be air conditioned uh, and I'll be assisted with the, the uh, heat from the sun. Anyway, I'm just walking around this building, it's quite, quite big. It's, I suppose you could say it's like a, a bit like a tent, I guess, you know, because it isn't actually solid walls. Uh, just walking around the building. Um, and it is actually, you know, it's got a couple of football pits, which is quite good, really, because, you know, you could do your training indoors. Although football, when you think about it, it's an outdoor sport, so I would have thought they would just train, you know, in all weathers, colds. <laughs> but no, they've got it indoors, so it's obviously just to get the skills I and mean, the talent and whatnot. Uh, but if we're training outdoors, no weathers, you know, muddy and no indoor stuff like because so, uh, there wasn't like any of that when I was at the school, like, it was all outdoor and it was actually gravel as well, if you fell in that you'd know all about it but now you've got this softer sort of foam stuff especially around about, uh, you know, sports arenas outdoor but so if you fall, it's a softer landing well there was none of that when I was at the school, I could assure you, you fell, you felt it but uh, yeah, there's the air conditioning vents, there actually, I'll show you them so you can see the... It's all climate control, it's not just a big tent really, it's, uh, it's all uh, well thought out like eh? So it's got to be air conditioned, there's loads of cameras around obviously for security reasons. Uh, big fence to secure it, you know. It's like gravel, that'll be probably to help seal the... Uh, you know, to help seal it, maybe for the water soak away or something, I don't know. Uh, it's obviously well secure as well, you can tell there's plenty of cameras and stuff. So, uh, I've pretty much um, covered all I could tell you. Uh, there isn't, I asked if there was any leaflets and stuff, you know, but there isn't because it isn't open, you know, it's not a, uh, being promoted for public use. It'd be arranged through like say, colleges or uh, whatever, universities or sports agreements if you're training to become an athlete so there isn't really any leaflets open for the you know you want to go through the channels if you're going into this sort of place uh, but you can see how the roof is it's probably designed so that it could withstand all the weathers the, the water will come down in a certain way they'll, they'll be able to I don't know why the shape but maybe for thermal reasons to make use of the heat from the sun and the light from the sun uh, I don't know what advantages they have to cool it um, Sure, there'll be design features in there to aid with cooling effects, you know, because it will get quite hot in there if there's a lot of sports activities. So they've got the outdoor bit there. There's stuff going on at the moment in there. Um, and that's just going back to the main hub. The main building, basically. That building's made out of proper brick. Like All these other buildings are just like, you know, uh, canvas buildings. 
so you could hear them training for their football. Um, so, so um, I've pretty much that's really all I could. I've seen it all. There's not much to see, to be honest. Unless you're, as I say, you're doing training, uh, there, there isn't really much to see. But for those that are curious, um, you know, I've driven past this place many times and always wondered. Uh, so I thought, well, I'm in this area today. Uh, took the time and trouble to actually go in and have a look and I've inquired about it and now I know so I hope that helps you as well if anybody else is wondering what it's about um, so yeah it's obviously um, it's well thought out like yeah before this was built this was just like a big uh, playing fields running Big grass area, really. That was it. It was just uh, a running pitch. There wasn't really much here. It was just a flat running pitch. And now they've landscaped it into all this within. I think it was. About, oh gosh, I didn't get the exact date. To it. I think it was two, a couple of year ago. I think two, three year ago, maybe four year ago. It doesn't seem that long ago, but I mean, I suppose when you get older. <laughs> A few years doesn't doesn't seem that much. It could have been maybe four or five years, maybe four years, but it certainly wasn't that long anyway. So, um, I think that's really it. I don't think I could really do any more. Um, that's it, really. So that's it. The RPC. Uh, There isn't any swimming pools here either. I thought there may be, I certainly haven't saw any evidence of a swimming pool. I didn't ask, but I didn't think there was, because usually you, you could tell by the uh, big boilers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but there isn't, I didn't see anything like that here. There isn't any evidence of a swimming pool. Uh, I didn't smell any chlorine or anything, so uh, I don't think there is one. Uh, I'm just making my way back to the main car park. Right, so I'm back to my car, uh, I'm going to have to get other things done now. So the Regional Performance Centre for Sport in Dundee at Dundee Care Park. That's it, so it looks like that's what I, that's what I could show you anyway. That's what I've shown you, watching my footage and videos of it. So what I've learned and found out about it as well. So, hope you found it interesting. Uh, I was going to do a bit of research in, into it, but I'll maybe do that for another time. Um, I've got to get going now. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.